St. Lucia rolled out the red carpet to welcome home global track and field superstar Julian Alfred on Friday in celebration of her historic gold medal at the World Indoor Championships. Officials from the government and banking sector praised Alfred's achievements, pledging their continued support as she ascends the ranks on the world stage. Julian, we saw the flight that you were about to take at First National and we decided to snatch you up even before the world saw that. And this afternoon I just want to tell you, thank you. Thank you for repping First National Bank. Thank you for repping St. Lucia. Thank you for being an amazing brand ambassador for us and for the island. And today I just want my team to present a small token of our appreciation. I am pledging First National support behind you for years and years to come. And I know that as you continue on on your journey, you are just going to do great and greater things. Thank you so much and we look forward to continuing our relationship with you. The 22-year-old Alfred was hailed as a true ambassador for St. Lucia and the wider Caribbean region, inspiring the next generation of young athletes. Thank you as an ambassador for sport in St. Lucia. You are truly our number one ambassador and you carry it very, very well. And so, we know, we know the work that comes in, in bringing a global medal to St. Lucia. It is an absolute fact that you need blood, um, sweat and tears to do that, simply because we've been independent for 45 years. And it took us 45 years of independence before we could have one Julian Alfred. And so I want us to wrap our minds around that. I want St. Lucia and the rest of the world and every single nook and cranny in our communities to understand that the quest to find another Julian Alfred, it does not have to take 45 years. If we all decide to do our part, if we all decide that what we need to do, think about what we need to do to contribute towards the development of the next athlete that we see may be a Julian Alfred. I came in a while ago and I asked a, a school, a set of um, children, uh, who wants to be the next Julian Alfred? And male and female did this. <laughs> so that's testament to who Julian Alfred is to all of us as a nation. Dr. Ernest Hilaire is not only the Deputy Prime Minister, but the parliamentary representative for Castries South, where Julian Alfred's hometown, Cicero, is located. She knew what she was about. There was no doubt about it. That was not many years ago, and now you're a world champion. And I'm saying that because sometimes you meet athletes and you meet individuals, and you just know that they're not the ordinary. And she was not the ordinary. Just her understanding of what she had to do and what was before her, you knew that she was going to be a superstar. So the world is yours to conquer. And all of us saying to you for the couple of days you'll be here that we are fully behind you. And don't ask about the community that you come from. At the right time when you return, we'll have a proper celebration for you. And I can tell you, you will inspire a lot of young individuals. Because when they reflect on, you know, Julian Alfred from Monkey Tong Cicera, running barefeeted, walking on the road barefeeted, to world champion, it tells them that they too can do it. But I can tell you, when you get that goal in Paris this year, um, you know, um, you, you will get your... You will get your announcement. So it just says, you know, the, the pride that we have as a people, the pride that we have. And like Minister said, it's not Julian Alfred anymore. You're not running for yourself anymore. You're running for an entire country. You're running for an entire region because you keep flying that, 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 that flag of Caribbean supremacy in track and field, especially female. So you have a huge responsibility on your shoulder. Alfred thanked her coaches, agent and government officials for their unwavering support, vowing to continue making her country proud on the global stage. And I, I just hope that this can also just encourage the country as a whole to just come together and just be one and just just encourage you know, everybody, whether they're just starting off in their career and just helping them get to where they want to go. So I just want to just thank, it's a pity my coach, Coach Flo, who's been with me the past five years. He couldn't be here today, but my agent is here 
who traveled all the way here to St. Lucia to be here, you know, with me. So I want to thank you, um, Henry, for being here with me today. I don't usually talk that much. <laughs> uh, but, but I just want to say thank you for all your support and I'm just hoping that I can continue. Mr. Murphy for being there at World Championship with me. I want to thank you um, personally. But I just want to just go out there and just continue to make Sunnisha proud, continue to carry the country on my shoulders and just represent with um, pride. The St. Lucia government said Alfred's achievements have set a new benchmark challenging the nation to nurture more world-class talent across all sports.